Hello, my name is Trider, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build a modern beehive starter base in Minecraft. Let's get started. So you just spawned into a brand new world, but you have the age-old problem of not having a base. So today I'm going to show you how to build this one. I'm calling this a modern beehive starter base because, for one, it's fairly small. It should be easy to build, and also it is hexagonal. That is, it is made up of three hexagonal cells, and it's only got five block materials in it, so it shouldn't be too hard for you to put together. In fact, let's go over here, and I will show you the bill of materials for this construction. You will need 1,292 blocks of white concrete, 1,297 blocks of cyan terracotta, 472 blocks of light blue glass, 210 blocks of spruce, and 60 blocks of oak. You will also need an unspecified quantity of cobblestone here to begin the construction. Now this building is laid out as three identical hexagonal cells, and the pattern to get started is two blocks here, another two, two more, two more, and then go, and then turn in and go seven blocks. Two more blocks, two more, two more, and then another seven. And so on and so forth, repeating that pattern that I've just showed you until you get something that looks like this. With the foundation set, you now want to move on to the floors. This is the pattern I've selected for the floors of this building, but if you only have one wood type, you can just fill it in with wood or pretty much whichever material you prefer to have for your floors. Make sure when you're doing this, however, that you make your walls double thick. This is going to be important. Once you have the outline of the cyan terracotta, go over the top of it and place in your white concrete. And do this until you reach four layers tall. Once that is done, your building should look like this. And it's at this point you can add in your door right here. And the window of your bedroom over here. Now the window design is half of a hexagon. It's one block thick and it's set back one block from the exterior. It's just a little cutout here as you can see. This is going to be the same window design that we use throughout the entire structure. Once that is done, you want to follow the outline of the white concrete and place a two block tall layer of cyan terracotta. When you have done that, your structure should look like this, almost, which means you are now ready to place in the ceilings and roofs. This is the point where you will roof over your bedroom here. All you do is go one block down and place in a layer of light blue stained glass now in the middle of this, I have chosen a subtle hexagonal pattern here. It's very easy to inset into the glass like that. And you'll want to do the same for your floor over here, because this is going to be the floor of the next level. And this is done to allow maximum natural light going down to all levels of the building. Also at this point, note that in your storage room back here, there is no ceiling just yet. And with that phase completed, what you want to do is go around here and start extending up the walls another four blocks. But you want to end the pattern here because this is as tall as this portion of the structure goes. So your next completed step should look like this. You'll note that we've added in another window here, identical to the previous window, except it's facing out over the front door. And once that is done, go around the edges of this and build up another two block tall layer of cyan terracotta, which when done should look like this here, because at this point you want to put in a floor here and a roof over here. They're both identical to the bedroom ceiling floor, so you should know how to build those by now. 
The next step is we want to go over the, to the last hexagon here at the back and go around the edges here. Another four blocks tall all around the edges to extend up to the next level. And this one, when done, has a double window at the top here. Just like the previous windows I've shown you how to build. And then on top of this, you know the drill, you want to add another two block tall layer of cyan terracotta. However, we don't quite stop there because you want to go up a little bit because when you've got your ring built up, you want to go over it like this. You want to add one block tall on this second level back here, then two blocks tall on this level back here, and another block, and then another one, and another one. Stepping it back in two block increments to give it a, a diagonal sweep, like this. And on the outside I have cyan terracotta, but on the inside we have just a little bit of detail of white concrete. But with that done, we don't want to leave this open. We want to put in a final glass roof up here, except we want to shift it up by two blocks every time we build it. Like this. Two blocks, two blocks, two blocks. There you go. You can see how that's leveled. And once that is done, we want to add some finishing details here at the front. We want to add two little antennas which we do by placing down blocks here and here and then two blocks of white concrete block of cyan and so on and so forth until we get to the top and that's just a little finishing detail that gives us some futuristic antenna type structures they could be sensors to scan for mobs and a communication antenna, possibly. Pretty much whatever you want them to be. And once completed, your final starter base should look exactly like this. And of course, this is expandable. If you run out of room, you can dig down and add additional rooms down there, or you can build out additional hexagonal cells on the surface and just attach them to the building. So I hope you found the tutorial useful and have fun building your modern beehive starter base. And thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.